Hey y'all, today is Finding the Funny and I'm going to vlog my funny today. So you link up your funny right down there. I mean not right there, I don't mean like I got your funny right here. I meant like down there where it says add your link, not my down there business, no, just link it. Anyway, um, my story today happened yesterday morning. I hadn't gone to the office yet, which is our neighborhood mom office. We call it the office. I was in my home office working away and I started getting text texts. There's a bird. There's a bird. Come to the office. ASAP. OMG. I ignored it until um, the phone calls made me nuts and I answered and she said, please, please, bird got in my house. You got to come help me get the bird out of my house. So I did. Me and my 36 longs, because it was 9 in the morning and I didn't have a bra on, I was still in my pajamas. So I grabbed a lacrosse stick, went to her house, and uh, sure enough, there was a little baby bird under her bed in the corner. Now when she said a bird got in my house, I assumed that meant accidentally. Door opened, bird flew in, mystery entrance, bird in the house. But then I saw a little birdie spa and the little neck braces with rice in them that had been warmed up was sitting there and I said sweetheart you want to back this truck up tell me what happened yes she saw a little bird outside and it was shivering and cold and she thought well better take that bird inside and warm it up and get it all cozy okay so no we're not going to do that anymore ladies don't take birds into your house if they're shivering and they look cold dude they live out there it's all right so anyway, neither here nor there, I said, I'm going to get the bird with the lacrosse stick, and you are going to put a hand towel over it. No, 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 oh my gosh, we're going to hurt the bird, we're going to hurt the bird. Well, how far, girl? Why'd you bring the bird in your house? Just saying. What'd you think? It was going to ride around on your shoulder or something? No, it's a, it's a bird, and it needs to be outside. So I got into the lacrosse stick. I said, now. No, I can't, I can't. She's running away. I put the hand towel over the lacrosse stick with a little baby bird in it. All looks well. We get the bird outside. I take off the hand towel and whoop, whoop, he appeared to be dead. I'm assuming it was a heart attack that all the, oh, Lord, 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 no, careful, baby bird. Don't hurt the bird. I got the heated neck wrap for him already. Frightened him to death is what I'm guessing happened, but I did not give up. I thought, well, sometimes animals sort of play possum and or they're just so scared and they're in shock. So I tried to rub his little chest. Come on, baby bird, you can do it, you can do it. She wanted me to like, you know, pull, pull. No, I, I draw the line there for friends. I am not giving mouth to mouth to a little baby bird that shivered in your driveway. No. So then that didn't work, and we thought, well, maybe we just prop him up, help him along, be encouragers. So we propped him up, and come on, little bird. But no, the bird did not make it. But this is just a reminder to love your ladies in your hood and always help them, even if it's bizarre. Stick together, ladies. Help a sister out. But don't take birds in your house, okay? And if you do, don't call me. Call your own peeps.